The technology acts as an ice pack, cooling the head on impact and reducing swelling to the brain. Chrissy Reedy reports. How close does a biker have to be before you see them? Head injuries account for 80% of motorcycle accidents. According to the Department of Transport, last year there were 21,000 motorcycle casualties across the UK, where more than 6,000 died. Here at the University of Sussex, they've developed a special lining which expands and cools at the point of impact. Every second at post-accident counts, OK? It could take 20 minutes for an EMS paramedic crew to arrive on scene. The very instant the accident happens, you are afforded medical attention, and this helmet does that. As the brain loses oxygen in a regular helmet, it heats like an oven, as shown on the left side of the screen. The brain swells as temperatures exceed 40 degrees. By contrast, the new cooling device, shown on the right side of the screen, maintains the brain temperature of 37 degrees, and it's those few degrees which are critical. Inside the crash helmet, you've got a layer of polystyrene, like you do in most helmets. But the difference here is, in addition to that, you've got a layer of water and a layer of salt. And at the moment of impact, they come together, think like an ice pack, and that immediately cooling device cools the brain, which could save lives. Speedway racer Martin Dugard is no stranger to coming off his motorbike. When you first come off your bike, the most important thing is to protect yourself and it's the head you really want to protect because that's that's your future and obviously if you're not um, protected around the head area you can find that it could change the, your life and I think this is so simple it's unbelievable. But not everyone's convinced. I'm always concerned when somebody comes along and they think this is the panacea for problems because really anything like this distracts from the central message which is don't have the accident in the first place, be careful and, and other people also of course have got to have consideration for motorcyclists. Because a motorcycle is a third of the width of a car, he's very hard to see, but he's dead easy to hurt. Despite some concern, scientists here in Sussex hope their innovation could provide a much-needed lifeline.